Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array. Today's tutorial is going to go over a concept that could potentially save us all a lot of time. If you're working in After Effects, there's the possibility that you might need to send your project file to somebody else. Maybe they just want to take an in-depth look at your work, or maybe they want to take a crack at a different type of edit themselves, or maybe you just want to move your project from one computer to another. Either way, if you just give somebody your project file, when they open it up, they don't have any of the footage or elements that you've been working with. It can really save you a lot of time if you just tell After Effects to compile all of the different elements that you're working with and put them into a neat package. Yes, you can actually do that. The two processes that we're going to be looking at are called reducing and collecting. And here's how you do it. The first step is to open up your After Effects file that you want to send to someone. Now, depending on how big your project is and how many pieces that there are to it, you might end up sending a lot of data to whoever's going to be using this project next. So the first step is to limit how big that file is going to be by getting rid of unnecessary elements. This process is called reducing. To reduce your project, select the topmost composition. What we mean by that is if you have multiple compositions, it's the composition in which everything else sits inside of. For me, it's this full laptop layer. And once it's highlighted, go to File, Dependencies, then Reduce Project. Next, you should get a message like this. This will tell you how many, if any, files were deleted from the project, as well as the fact that you can undo this action. The process will basically remove anything that's not actually being used by your composition. This does not include things that are just hidden from view, just things that are actually not found at all within the project and are simply sitting in the project window. This will delete your files from within the project, so if you're on the fence about whether or not you want to use that particular element that you haven't used yet, my suggestion would be to find an out of the way place very early on in your composition and place it down and hide it from view. That way it's in the project, but it's not influencing your project. Now with your project reduced, you can go on to step two, which is getting your After Effects files all together in one place. We're gonna be telling After Effects to put them into one folder for us so that we can send it off to whoever needs it. This process is called collection. To collect your files, go to File, Dependencies, Collect Files. Next, you should get a message prompting you to save your project. What you should see next is the Collect Files window. This will give you a few different options in order to distinguish what will be collected. Under the first tab here called Collect Source Files, you have a few options. But the most likely option, because we just reduced our files to only include items that are used, is to just select All. I'd also suggest that you select Reveal Collected Project in Explorer when finished. This will help to ensure that if you save it deep within your computer files, it'll pop up immediately and you'll have direct access to it when it's done collecting, so you can just send it off. And then finally, here at the bottom you have a readout of the number of files that will be collected, their total size, and how many effects are being used in your project. So when you press collect, you'll then be asked to give a location for where these files will be collected to. Here you can name the file folder. Name it something that's easy for you and the second individual you're working with to be able to distinguish quickly and easily. And when all is said and done, your folder should look something like this. It's got all of the elements that your project is using, as well as the project file itself. This compact 2.6 gigabyte file is now ready to send off to whomever you want to review the project. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, we've got lots of other tutorials for After Effects, Premiere Pro, and filmmaking in general. You can find it all at motionarray.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.